Till a few months ago, a memorial stone sat in a Washington County park. It was a daughter's tribute to her late father. It's gone now, and a court battle is on. Brenda Waters has the story. Gary Andreas was 58 years old when he died suddenly last year, a businessman in Cecil Township and a candidate for township supervisor. His daughter, Jennifer Andreas Moniker, paid for and asked that a memorial stone be placed in Cecil Township Municipal Park. That was approved by the Cecil Parks and Rec Board. Then in March, it went to the Cecil Board of Supervisors, who voted unanimously to allow exactly a stone and a tree. Moniger paid $700 to the township to have it placed. Cecil Public Works Department took it, put it in for her in the mulch and, and planted everything, and everything was fine. Then suddenly there were alleged complaints that the stone was inappropriate. Someone reportedly claimed to have tripped over the stone, and others wanted supervisors to reverse its vote. That's when attorney Jesse White comes in. Here's the problem. The Board of Supervisors took a vote to allow to do something, to allow this thing to be placed. The Sunshine Law in Pennsylvania says very clearly that if a board is going to do something like that, they can't just undo it behind closed doors. There has to be a public vote and deliberation. White also says the township claims what was approved, a plaque, is not what Moniger put in. That's when White reads straight from the minutes of the initial board meeting. Motion and a second to approve the planting of a tree and placement of a rock in the park as a memorial to Gary Andres. All four board members in attendance voted aye. This was a done deal. Brenda Waters, KDKA TV News.